duracetal clasps onto a nylon partial. Mark the mold indicating where you want the clasp to be on the tooth. Most of the time you can place the clasp at the cervical of the tooth. Separator. Using CDM Dental's thermoplastic model separator, paint the area on the model where the clasp will touch. Be sure to wear eye protection and to use proper air ventilation. After separator dries, place the partial on the model. Mark the model. Mark the partial with a dot to where a hole will need to be drilled for the material to follow in creating mechanical retention. At this time, drill the hole through the marked partial with a number 8 2mm burr. Waxing. Create the clasp using 12 gauge sprue wax. Place the wax over the marked area down at the gingival. Using a hot spatula, seal the sprue wax to the model and extend the wax down onto the tissue. This will give the clasp stability. Fill some wax into the buttonholes that you created on the tooth. Once you are done waxing, double check and make sure that your clasps are 2mm by 2mm thick. This is very important. Mark your model where the tips of the clasps are using a red marker. Mark a line on the front of the model and on the palate or tongue side. These lines will help once the putty is on the model. Later you will have an idea where the tips of the clasps are. Putty Matrix Mix Cedium Dental Extra Hard Putty. Cedium Dental's putty will give you extra working time over other putties as well as its resistance to heat and its strength. Use equal amounts of putty, mixing until there is no marbleizing. Place the putty on the occlusal surface and work down over the buckle and lingual covering the clasp. Make sure you work the putty into all areas very well as to pick up all fine detail. When you have the putty in place, observe the red lines. Then estimate where the tip of the clasp is and indent down onto the base of the putty tool. Repeat mixing of the putty if creating two clasps. Make sure that the first putty matrix is fully set as not to move or warp it. Creating Sprue Hole Remove putty and drill a sprue hole from outside to inside using the number 8 2mm burr. Drill your sprue hole in through the indention of the putty tool and out through the other side trying to come as close as possible to the tip of the clasp. If you come out ahead of the clasp tip when drilling, that's okay. Just make a channel from the hole to the tip of the clasp. Make sure the channel is 2mm by 2mm. That is the size of the burr and it is important to keep everything 2mm by 2mm. Where the clasp joins the partial, drill a hole out through the putty coming out on the lingual side. This creates a vent hole. Remove wax, boil out. With the putty matrix removed, boil off the wax from the model and partial. Make sure there is no wax remaining. Preheat. After removing all wax, place the matrix back on the model and place the assembly in a heating oven at 235 degrees Fahrenheit for 8 minutes. The model matrix assembly should pre-warm in the oven for at least 8 minutes just before the injection. 